Hey guys, J.R. Raymond here back at TurboTech inside the training center in Chesterfield, Michigan. There's one question that we get asked all the time, and it's the biggest question that I'm, I'm sure all coaches get asked. How do we increase rev rate? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about it here in a minute. All right, so talking about rotation, what we need to do is we need to figure out a way to get the ball off your thumb much faster than what your fingers are, uh, while also creating a yo-yo type reaction. We're going to talk about the yo-yo in a second. But I have tape on this ball at the top of the fingers um, so you can see the ball rotate down lane. And I'm going to show you an example of what most people do. Okay, and then I'll go back and I'll show you an example of what should happen and we'll try to slow them down and see if you can see them. So if I'm here with the release, what most people do is they release both fingers and thumb basically at the same time. So you get more of like a knuckle type of reaction. And you can see how slow that ball is turning down line. Now what we want to do is we want to try to get our thumb out faster so well before the fingers come out of the ball and to rot and see how much it rotates. And we're not gonna use wrist action yet. So for thumb, fingers. You see how much faster that one's rotating. And that's with just a firm wrist. So then the third step is including the wrist action like a yo-yo. And you come through, watch the tape spin. Much faster. Now it's totally up to you how fast you want to do it. The practice is going to be just going over and over again, trying to get your thumb out as quick as possible, and then just really rotating your fingers through it and getting your thumb out fast. So when we're talking about the yo or the yo-yo wrist. We're talking about uh, how your wrist is at the bottom of the swing. A lot of the most powerful guys, they have a cupped release. They have a cupped wrist, and they don't stay that way. They don't get their their the spin on the ball by staying cupped and coming straight through it and lifting with their fingers. They don't want to do that. In today's game, lifting with your fingers is not a good thing. What you actually want to do is have a cupped release and then uncup your release at the end, breaking through with your thumb already out of the ball and then having your fingers roll through. So it's that yo-yo. So it's like you ever use a yo-yo back in the day. It's one of those things where you go up and down, up and down, just like that, cupping to uncupping, cupping to uncupping. So it's rotating through with your fingers all the way around the ball. Okay. So what I would suggest is getting a small basketball like this, maybe even a football uh, to where you can get your hand and just practice the cupping to uncupping, just doing that over and over again to create that type of ball reaction or that type of ball roll. So then when you get onto the lanes, you can take your actual ball and try to get your thumb to release as quick as possible while your fingers roll through it. And it's just, it. once you do it once, you'll completely get it and you'll be like, ah, I got it now. I'll be able to do this forever. Um, but it would be literally just walking up to the lane and then just trying to put as much spin on it as you can. That will increase for you. And then eventually you'll just have to get used to it and try to understand how to control it. But that is always the one question we get asked the most is how do I increase rev rate? Um, hopefully these little tricks can help you to understand it a little bit better. And if it does, let me know. If it doesn't, shoot me an email and we'll see if we can't help you out a little bit. But make sure to subscribe to this channel and we will have more videos out on trying to help as many bowlers as possible. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you later.